New tonight, anger and concern from some parents in the Metro East. That's because the Cahokia Heights City Council has changed sex offender ordinances. They can now live closer to schools. News 4's Dan Broxton reports on the concerns and calls for more transparency from Cahokia Heights leaders. And I don't know any family or mother or father would want their kids that close to sex offenders. Jerry Nichols was once a trustee for Cahokia. He says he's not pleased with sex offender ordinance changes by leaders of the newly merged Cahokia Heights. Imagine walking across this football field just over four times. That was the distance a registered sex offender here in Cahokia Heights had to live from a school. Now that distance is reduced to about a football field and a half for someone to live near a school like the one behind me. I remember back when I was in office, sex offenders, it was right around 1,500 feet from a school going from 1,500 feet to 500 feet. They might as well live right next door to the school. News 4 wanted to know from Mayor Curtis McCall Sr. why this change suddenly happened. We didn't get the mayor. Instead, a city attorney wrote us saying, there was concern among city leaders that sex offenders would try to interpose a defense that the previous city ordinance was overbroad, thereby causing it to be more difficult to enforce. Accordingly, they thought it best to track the state ordinance. Illinois state law says the minimum distance a sex offender can live near a school is 500 feet. Missouri requires the same minimum. It's concerning and it's appalling. News 4 heard from several parents in the Cahokia School District, but fearing retaliation, they would only talk to us anonymously. Pretty ridiculous if you ask me, because, you know, we're parents and we're supposed to protect our kids. And if they're allowed to come closer than what they should, how do we know, you know, what their plans or intentions are with our children? Transparency from Cahokia Heights City Hall is a concern. They didn't even run it by the residents to see, you know, if we were okay with this, how we felt. And that's always how it happens in Cahokia to begin with. News 4 obtained these documents from a resident who filed a Freedom of Information request. The last time the city posted an agenda online for a council meeting was over a year ago in March. And the last time Cahokia Heights posted minutes from a council meeting was in February of last year. Yeah, it's a problem because they got somebody to do it. They're there. They don't want you to have information. In Cahokia Heights, Dion Broxton, News 4.